is a 50 year gentleman 57 year gentleman sir came to us with uh, complaints of weakness sir uh, on further evaluation sir he was found to have hypercalcemia sir and on evaluation he was found to have a left superior parathyroid adenoma by means of serum pth was elevated sir more than 900 and serum calcium was 7.3 sir ultrasound next showed a hypoechoic lesion uh, in the posterior lateral aspect of the left upper lobe of thyroid sir and on system EB scan it uh, that uh, uh, radioactive agent was accumulating in the left posterior lateral aspect of the upper lobe of thyroid, indicating a left superior parathyroid anemia. Sir, the plan is uh, left superior parathyroidectomy. Uh, and so this patient had hypercalcemia of uh, 15. He received zolindronic acid and IV fluid resuscitation, after which it has come out to be normal 7. And uh, IPTH also was raised more than 1900. He also had uh, renal calculi and uh, uh, weakness, as you mentioned. Sir. So, it is a classical case where the screening with serum calcium led us to the diagnosis and frequent occurrence of renal calculi was the reason. We have seen it in most of the cases. So, it gets screened through serum calcium and then we are able to do the system AB scan and also ultrasound to localize it. Yes, the sensitivity of ultrasound is about 80%? 85 to 80%. <coughs> Sorry, but it's subjective. Who is doing it is important. It can be 2% also if somebody cannot see, if the eyes cannot see, the mind doesn't know. Plan, left-sided, parathyroidectomy, superior pole, superior one. Mm -hmm. But we may have to resort to hemithyroidectomy if the lobe is closely entangled mm -hmm. and it is we are not able to separate. So that concern has to be taken, which yes, is what yes, I told you. Yes, sir. Now, incision is, you can do it endoscopically. There is a method of doing endoscopically. There is no problem. We don't... We are not doing it this way. It's a palpable gland. That is what I wanted somebody to say. It is moving on deglutition. Yes. And it's one of the differentials for any thyroid swelling, parathyroid swelling. What are the problems with para palpable parathyroid? So it has higher chances of being a malignant. Mm -hmm. And what are the other features that will point towards malignancy? One would be? So if it is uh, the consistency of it and also if the neck nodes are present. Yes. So hypercalcemia also which will be refractory to, to the tune of three to four fold increase. So we have every reason to suspect this. So we look for the nodes. Ultrasound doesn't show them. And we'll see for the local features. So it's safer to clear it. The approach is the same. You can take a small incision on one side, but you should be familiar with using the same caucus incision is the use of thyroidectomy. But you can go through a smaller approach. What is the image guided uh, parathyroidectomy, Yes, sir. Image guided. It is uh, ultrasound guided localization in, uh, on table and uh, uh, localize the parathyroid gland and the, the other thing is endoscopically assisted, mm -hmm. where you have the endoscope inside and then you do it manually only, but the camera is uh, is used, mm -hmm. which we have done. You go to the midline and small incision mm -hmm. is required. But for I think for us for an incision, if you make <laughs> it nicely here, I think the first about the incision in the neck is more of a in a semantic. So I have nothing against people trying to do it through the mouth, through the rectum, wherever. <laughs> as long as you get it all out and patient has no issues. So endoscopically, the approach is same as endoscopic thyroid interview? Endoscopically, that's a good question. Endoscopically, thyroid has more approaches like your baba, through the axilla, oral cavity, transoral. But for parathyroid, you don't need that big an approach. It's too extensive. Actually, it's like Getting into Gaza Strip via Palestine and uh, Israel, and then get ro getting rogered in the process. So I don't really. I mean, that's not what how I have trained you all. I personally think you should do the easiest operation for the patient with the best results. There's no point making a simple thing more complicated, which you can any day. And it's like catching your left ear with your right hand like this. I would just hold it and finish. So therefore, I, I mean, it's one way of looking at it. Endoscopic has an advantage of vision. A relatively smaller hole. How big is the hole for parathyroidectomy? It's about this much that we are going to use, which is how many centimeters currently to be? 1.5 to 2. 2 to 3. 2 to 3. That will be 1.5 to 2. And then you will struggle with the left hand and the right Space hand. will be limited. 
outside minimally invasive inside it is maximally invasive so it's the same thing uh, pardon my saying this but uh, it's like violating areas which have nothing to do with hernia to fix hernia whether you like that or you do people have to do what they have to do but you violating areas which have nothing to do with hernia sometimes they may even ask you a question but either kyun aaye common ilex can ask you no know, either mera kya lena dena yaar tum udhar se jao the hernia is a local problem deal with it locally don't make it so complicated but the ways of looking at it i have nothing against it earlier and faster return to work less pain it's about two or three tablets of painkillers or maybe one one shot of analgesic that we are fighting our life out for so it's we need to take a balance to it okay so that's the plan and we'll do it focused approach is certainly better and the patient is that we do for thyroid so please start doing it and we will we'll start the case okay, okay.